hey guys um so as you know all my data got deleted and I thought I should show you guys a little Easter egg I found like something I didn't quite put in my last LP before my data got deleted huh so if you come back here to the uh, treehouse while you're looking for the slides in the um in uh like while you're looking for the slides in the camp if you come back here naturally Sabor is going to come up and for some unknown reason Sabor makes a hole in the bottom of the treehouse huh I think that'll come in handy that'll come in handy later viewers so just thought I'd show you guys that hmm, yeah so if you come here uh, uh, see look at that that hole wasn't there before in my last LP because I didn't come back here I didn't come back here um, before I found the slides but if you come here during the time that you're looking for the slides at the camp and you defeat Sabor, that hole is created. So I just thought I'd show you guys that. Alrighty, now let's continue on with this episode. What's up guys? I'm back! <sighs> Sorry it took me so long to finally get back to this LP. I mean, I still cannot believe that my PS3 deleted all my data just like that. But. Uh, but after a few days of finally getting back to here, I'm finally able to get back to the point to where I was at. And uh, truth be told, guys, I'm actually happy that it deleted my data because um, on my way here, I got super massively lucky with Mystery Goo. <laughs> Look at that! I have four Mystery Goos now. It's so cool. I love it. <sighs> All right. Well, anyway, um, that's pretty much the only thing that's new is that uh, is that I just got Mystery Goo way more mystery good than I had in the last episode and that's pretty much it oh and I know I'm down one level from last episode but I'll get back up to it in no time we're not gonna do any fighting in here anyway all right so anyway today we are gonna hit a hundred acre wood because we finally reached all five torn pages oh and uh, just so you know you guys now have the option to skip cutscenes so make sure you turn your annotations on so that way you'll be able to skip the cutscenes in no time flat So now we're on the surface of a book, huh? Wonder what world did this is? Come over here, an empty meadow. Take a look. Sure. Ah, I forgot to turn my phone off. Ugh. Rather 
Alright, here we are at 100 Acre Wood. Huh, so it seems that all of Pooh Bear's friends have disappeared. Huh, I wonder why. You think it has something to do with those torn pages? Nah, that's stupid. Alright, well anyway, if we come over here to the side of the tree trunk right here, we open a treasure chest and we get... Mythal Shard. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And, huh. It's a shame that my capture device won't actually capture in HD. Because I'm playing my on my TV in HD now, but... Sadly, my capture device won't capture it in HD, which is a shame. But don't worry, I'm saving up enough money to where I will actually get a capture device that will show you viewers in HD. So, there's no need to worry there. Alright. So, if we come over here, an odd sign hangs over this house's door. Let's take a look. Absolutely! Let's go! Uh, just so you know, in case static comes up out of nowhere, that's... In case badass music comes up out of nowhere, that's to cover static. Gosh, I've got to quit mixing those up. Alright, and normally when I'm in this world, I would equip a uh, Kingdom Key, but I think I'm going to stick with Pumpkin Head because, one, look at how badass that Keyblade is. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Uh, it's so badass. But, um, and also it has long reach, and that's going to come in handy later, trust me. That's right, so anyway, if we come over here and hit this, we hit that Destiny Islands riff. Why? Well, we'll see in a minute. So if we come over there and hit that, and then come over here. All right, can anybody tell me what's the point of ringing this bell? I mean, it's not like Jack's world where if you pull it three times, something happens. So maybe that's just there for shits and giggles. And if you wanted to, just for fun, you can light that. It'll be on fire. But, you know... I don't find any purpose in that. I mean, you don't get any items or anything. That's probably there just for fun. Alright, so remember that chimney that we just hit? If we come here to Pooh's house... Alright, so anyway, do you remember that chimney we just hit? If we do that, we get a Mega Ether. Oh wait, it was a Mega Ether? Huh. If we examine this right here, open it up, that comes out. Elixir! You will indeed want to get that. Let me see, what else is there? Isn't there something else we can open? Huh, I don't know what the point of that is, but okay. Huh, what is this? Okay, so some, I guess... Most of these things that you can examine here, I guess they're just like for shits and giggles, really. Just for fun. Hey, it's Owl! Let me guess, you'd like to know what happens next. Unfortunately, some of the pages are missing, so I can't tell you yet. The pages are scattered over many worlds. Would you find them for us? But of course! I will happily find them for you guys. Now, normally, you could have come here when you first came here to see Merlin, but and then just come back here whenever you find the torn pages, but I like finding all the torn pages first and then going back there, so that way I can just get it all done with, you know? So that way I don't have to come back and forth and back and forth. A tall, curious tree buzzing with bees. Take a look, but of course. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. And we see a big, tall honey tree here. All right, now um, I should let you know. Is anyone there? What am I to do? I'm all alone. Pooh, Pooh, where are you? It's me, Piglet. Huh. Aw, Piglet, don't be afraid, it's just us. Alright, well, it's just me. I'm a completely harmless person. I mean, I know I have a big scary weapon and everything, and I kill everything around me, but I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Alright, so don't bother coming over here, because Piglet will just run. 
Like, he'll just run in the grass and you can't do anything about it. So, instead, you're just gonna have to go around here. Alright. You just come around here. Uh, anyway, as I was saying before, you may want to, uh... You're gonna get a bunch of mini games in this world, naturally. That's what 100 Acre Wood is. They're very, very, very important, so... They're very, very important to get a certain ability for Sora, so... Just thought i note that. And if you come here while standing on top of Piglet, why he isn't crushed, I don't understand, but okay. If you come over here and talk to him... Oh, oh dear. I was just, just... Never mind. I'm sorry. Don't be scared. You're looking for Pooh, right? You know Pooh. something for him. I have to take it to Pooh right away. <laughs> oh, Pooh! Oh, I believe I smell a delicious something. A something like honey. Pooh! Hello, Piglet. How have you been? I'm so glad to see you. I thought you'd gone away. I brought what you asked for. <laughs> Thank you, Piglet. Now I can finally have some honey. Really? B -b 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 but how? I shall hold on to the balloon and fly like a bee up the honey tree, see? But if you take their honey, won't the bees be angry? Oh. Hmm. So Pooh Bear is willing to risk his life by having a balloon that supposedly weighs more than him to carry him up the honeybee tree. See? <laughs> Alright, so now... Normally, I, you will want to equip a Keyblade with a super massively long reach, like Pumpkinhead, for instance, for this one, because this mini game can be a little bit aggravating. I'm telling you right now. If you could only chase away those bees, I'm quite certain I could get a small morsel of honey. Would you help me get some honey? Should I help Pooh get some honey? No, you need to lose weight, bitch. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sure, why not? Alright, so for this mini game, you want to try to get over 100 points in this one in order to get Sora's ability. I'll show you what that ability is in a minute. Oh, hello there, Owl. Good day, Pooh. What are you doing? Using a balloon to get some honey? Splendid idea. Allow me to offer you a few pointers. Alright, so pretty much what Owl is saying here is he's showing you how to uh, get up there and stuff like that. Ahem. Now Pooh can get honey by floating up this tree with his balloon. The honey is inside the tree hollows, not the beehives you see here. There's quite a lot of hole honey in these holes. If Pooh gets too close, the bees will come out to protect their honey. If they get to Pooh, they'll pop his balloon, lock onto the bees, and swat them away. The more time Pooh has at each hollow, the more honey he can eat. There's more honey higher up, too. If jumping from branch to branch proves difficult, try the rush command. Rush can help you catch up to Pooh quickly, but it isn't fully reliable. Be careful. Good luck! Yeah, this is what I hate about this minigame. Like, there's no reaction command that'll let you jump on each branch. You have to jump on them manually. Which is why I simply just swat the bees and Sora jumps on the branch himself. I don't bother trying to jump from branch to branch. I just simply wait until the bees come out. And then once they come out, attack the bees, and Sora just gets on the branch automatically. It's better than just trying to jump on the branch yourself. Just a whole lot easier. Just target the bees, jump up and swat them, and Sora gets on the branch. Now this time I kind of do have to... Damn it! No! Fuck! Alright, rush. Damn it. Damn it. I missed! Uh, see, this is why I hate this minigame so far. Ugh. I really, really hate this minigame sometimes, because it's hard to get on those damn branches. Alright, I'll just wait for the bees to come out, and... 
die. Thank you. All right, so all we need is just over 100 points for this mini game. So that shouldn't be too bad. Okay. And Sora doesn't want to get on the branch. How lovely. All right. Okay. I'm just going to wait one branch at a time. All right. And there we go. Beautiful. See, that's what I like doing. That's how I like getting to each branch is just by attacking the bees. It's just a whole lot easier. Okay. And die. Thank you. Next. So if Pooh just stays up here the whole entire time, then he'll get honey like crazy, so there's no worries. And die. Thank you. Next. This is why you want a Keyblade with a long reach, people. Because of this mi very mini game right here. And die. Next. Alright. Get that honey, Pooh. Get it. Alright. And 100 points. Yay. Attack that. And this is pretty much just this is pretty much the whole mini game, viewers. Just attack the bees like mad and attack the bees like mad, and before you know it, Pooh will get over a hundred points in no time flat. All right, yeah, this is pretty much just gonna be the whole entire mini game. So I'll let you know when I'm done. And we're back. The game, mini game is now over. You call it honey, I call it diabetes. To a page comes a new item, Nature Spark, that is another summon gem, which gives you a pretty good summon. But I'll show you what that summon is. Alright, so now if we come over here, I'm going to see the vegetable fields. Take a look. Vegetable fields, oh gee, I wonder which house this is. Come over here, and you're actually able to pull out the vegetables in this one. And you may want to pull out every single one of them. Why? Because why? You will see in a minute if it'll come out. Come on, come out. No? All right, come on, come on. Any day now. Come on now. You you want to pull these vegetables out for a bunch of reasons. One, it's fun, of course. I mean, look at it. That's fun. And two, you can get some good items here. But sadly, they're not showing up. Come on now. Come on, show up. Yeah, you want to pull every single one because the location of these items is completely random every time you play the game. So I just thought I'd note that. And none? Or is it only for pumpkins? Is it really only for pumpkins? Well, that's a burst. All right, well, I thought they would have showed up in cabbages too, but I guess not. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Where are you? Come on. Where are you? Come on. Where are you? Okay, well, it's got to show up now. I mean, come on now. Okay, this is ridiculous. Show the fuck up. Oh my god, are you shitting me? There you are. A potion. What the hell? Okay, I'm coming back. Hold on a second. That's ridiculous. I was supposed to get an elixir. Because the elixir is supposed to show up. That's, that, that's stupid. Come on. An elixir was supposed to show up. Because you can get elixirs from there, viewers. You can. I know you could. I did it multiple times. Huh. Why did it not show up this time? It's probably because of the fact that I'm doing an LP and it wants to embarrass me. <sighs> well, fuck you too, game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, and I forgot, in some parts of Winnie the Pooh's world, high jump and dodge roll is like completely disabled for some illogical reason. Why, I don't understand, but okay, whatever floats your boat. Alright, alright, let's try this again. I know you can get an elixir here. I know you can. Because uh, it's happened before. I know you could. Okay, well, there's a potion, see? You see, the items here are random. See, like, that potion wasn't there before. Come on. Come on. Where are you? 
Huh, I wonder if you could come back here, back and forth from here and get, like, potions and elixirs and stuff like that. See, now I got two potions. Come on. Where are you, elixir? There you are, you little fuck. Give me that shit. God. Alright, and... Kabag. <laughs> Cabbage. This spelled it wrong. Come on now, guys. Spell it right. Alright. And... Continue on here. I, I wonder if I can get another elixir. Yeah, see the... The amount of items here and where they're at are like totally random at this point. Like they're always random. So I'm pretty sure you could come back here and get potions and elixirs if you needed them. I'm pretty sure you could. Like see like three potions. Okay. Yeah, so the amount of items here are totally random every time you enter. So if you're looking for elixirs, this is a good place to get them. See two elixirs. Look at that. See, that's what I was looking for. That's what I wanted. Alright, and the last one, anything? Going once, going twice. Oh, three elixirs! Ha <laughs> Yeah, see? This is a really good place to get elixirs. Just so you know that. Alright, and for some reason, you can target this, but, uh, it doesn't really do anything, to be honest. Alright, and if you come over here and examine it, there's a letter inside. I hope we'll be finding more honey together soon. Poo. Aww. Uh, okay. If you come uh, back here, Look, Rabbit's house came back, but it looks like Rabbit isn't home. Pooh's been calling and calling, but the house says no one's there. <laughs> Wait, can you repeat that? Look, look, Rabbit's house came back, but it looks like Rabbit isn't home. Pooh's been calling and calling, but the house says no one's there. The house says no one's there? Interesting. Nobody's home? That's right, nobody. Meaning somebody is home. So we simply uh, come over here and enter Rabbit's house. Mm -hmm. Who is this person named Nobody? Oh my god! They're referencing Kingdom Hearts 2 before it even comes out! Nobody, have you seen Rabbit? Oh my god, I knew there was nobodies in this game. No, no Rabbit here, there's no one here. Ugh. <laughs> so much for that. Hey, rabbit. Hello, rabbit. Why, Poo, what a pleasant surprise. Nice to see you too, Piglet, and... Is this a new friend? That's right. Poo, I'm sorry, but... I'm all out of honey at the moment. All out of honey at the moment, huh? He's like... To come here and talk to Pooh. Sora, do you smell honey? So Rabbit came back too, but someone's still missing. Some places in the Hundred Acre Wood are gone too. Oh, what to do? Alright. Huh, wait. You're out of honey, huh? I've nothing to give Pooh. Don't waste your time looking around. Really, then how come we can target that up there? Examine. Uh, honey? Now how did that get up there? You didn't want to give it to Pooh, you cheapskate. Would you like some Pooh? Don't feel you have to, of course. Oh, thank you, Rabbit. I would like just a small smack roll. I'm quite hungry. Um, Pooh Bear? You're not eating the whole pot, are you? Once you start, there's no stopping you, is there? <laughs> yep. Yeah. He's gonna get diabetes. Oh, out of honey again. So now if we just simply... All we have to do is just simply run out of here. Run out of Rabbit's house. And pretty much just try to leave the area, but not before examining these again. See if we can get more potions and elixirs. I'll fast forward through this. Oh, elixir! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! See? Good place to get elixirs right here. Alright. I'll fast forward through all this. I'll see you in a bit. I said it before, and I'll say it again. This is a very good place for elixirs. <laughs> Look at how much I have. Nineteen. Nineteen freaking elixirs. Really good place to get this elixirs right here. Alright, so now we can just leave. Carrots. Wow, these people don't know how to spell, do they? So if we try to leave... Help! Please help, Poo! What happened? Uh-oh. Heartless? Talk. Oh, what to do? Talk. All this because he can't stop liking honey so much. If Pooh doesn't slim down, my house will stay plugged up forever. If only there was something we could do. So, as we can see here, Pooh is stuck. 
Tuck. Oh, help and bother. I'm stuck again. I came into this hole, so it must have shrunk. <laughs> no, you gained weight, fat ass. <laughs> I'm kidding. All this because you can't stop liking honey so much. Okay. So now we just simply try to leave again. And we go to the other side. And talk to Pooh. Ugh, I want dodge roll back. I want high jump back. Okay. Oh, how will I eat honey if I'm stuck here? Dude, you're stuck. You're stuck right now because you ate honey and you want to eat honey. When it's lunchtime, perhaps you could bring me a honey jar? No honey until you're unstuck. If Pooh doesn't slim down, my house will stay plugged up forever. If only there was something we could do. <gasps> Wait, I know. A bit of carrot top juice will do the trick. I have a carrot patch on the other side of the stream. Carrot top juice, meaning influencing you to eat healthier. Carrot top juice is just a ticket to slimming down a poo. <gasps> oh no! What's going on here? Hey! Everyone's favorite character! Tigger! <laughs> hey there! Name's Tigger! T I double G R. That spells Tigger! Well now, I don't think I've ever seen you before. Hello, Tigger. You've just bought my new friend, Sora. Hey, Pooh. Say, you're looking mighty uncomfy today. Is that some new exercise? Why, bouncing around is a lot more fun. <sighs> Why do you bounce around so much, Tigger? Why? Because bounce is what Tiggers do best. Speaking of which, my bouncing spot has gone and disappeared. So for now, this will be my new bouncing ground. <laughs> uh oh, that's not a good thing. Tigger's bouncing will ruin my vegetables, and if we don't give Pooh some carrot top juice, he'll be stuck forever. Wait, so you're telling me that Pooh doesn't know how to take a shit? Please help me keep Tigger away from my carrots. Okay. I hate this mini game. It is so damn hard and frustrating and aggravating. I can't stand it. I hate this mini game. I mean, I'd rather play this mini game than fight Oogie's Manor, of course, but naturally, still. So uh, you'll have to protect this carrot patch. If Tigger bounces on a carrot twice, it'll be buried. Once. Twice. Alright, yeah, so make sure that carrot doesn't get on the... I mean, carrot doesn't get on the tigger. <laughs> make sure that tigger doesn't get on the carrots. Just like that. Protect the carrots from tigger's bounces and you'll receive points. How, you ask? It's elementary. Simply get to the carrots before tigger lands on them. There are 15 carrots here. Your score depends on how many you save and how many times you block tigger. Oh, and one more thing. One more thing. The rush command is the key to a high score. Yeah, you're gonna be spamming that a lot. <laughs> Select rush while near a carrot that isn't buried yet. You'll dash the target area before Tigger lands. Good luck. Yeah, you'll probably be spamming that a lot. <sighs> and for this mini game, you need to get over 150 points for this one. And that's hard. <laughs> Trust me on that. All right, beat Tigger to the carrots before he bounces them into the ground. Ah, uh, dang it! I pressed rush. There we go. There we go. So pretty much you'll be spamming rush. Just don't move and rush! Oh dang it. Or not. There we go. You gotta just press it at the right time. It's all very precise. Dang it. Fuck you, Tigger. There we go. There we go. You gotta press it at the right time, like, pretty much as he moves. Ah oh, dang it. That's not fair. Where did the rush command go? Alright. Aw, oh, come on. Ugh, I hate this minigame. There we go. There we go. Make sure that none of them get buried. There we go. You might have to move a little bit just to adjust where Sora catches Tigger. But other than that... Uh, other than that, this minigame is aggravating and damn it! Come on, Sora! There we go. Uh, there we go. Alright, please tell me I got 150. I don't want to do that shit again. Come on. Time's block 13. Carrot saved 14. Final score. Oh, thank you, Jesus! Ugh, final score 182. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what's going on? No 
somebody keeps up with tiggers. Hmm, maybe there's something wrong with my tail. Well, I can keep up with you, so get over it. Ugh, I hate that minigame. Thank you so much. Now I better make that carrot top juice. I'll get the carrot, so please wait inside the house. Alright. Not not before I take away all these vegetables here in hopes of getting more elixirs. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, now that all the vegetables are out, let us continue. And no, I didn't get any elixirs this time, sadly. I only got a potion. But it's okay. Oh, for one more thing, I can't really do the carrot top juice. All we have to do now is push them out. Just a little push will do. Alright, a little push. Come on my face, my face when I first saw that Final Fantasy 7 was going to be released for PS4. And then my face when I found out that it was just the PC version. First my vegetable patch and now this. Where am I? It's ever so dark in here. Well... It isn't so bad, I suppose. <laughs> there is plenty of honey. <laughs> yeah, poo, yeah. Hit the subscribe button if you think Pooh's gonna get diabetes. Mithril shard. All right. Uh, oh, that was the honey tree. No, we don't need that. Uh, what was it? That's Pooh's house. It was here next, wasn't it? Ah, oh, see, this is what I missed. Give me that dodge roll. I missed that button. Was it this one? A swing hangs from a stout tree. Take a look. Absolutely. Look, look, Pooh. Something is floating this way. I think you're right, Piglet. What could it be? Eeyore! No! Okay, here's something I don't get. His nose is completely underwater. How is he? Why, it looks like Eeyore. Hello, Eeyore, if it is you. Wow, you guys are shitty friends. What are your friends down there, like, drowning, and you're not even going to help him? Wow. Hello, Pooh. Yes, it's me. Could you pull me out? That is, if it's not too much trouble. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. <laughs> wow. Uh, Eeyore is a depressed person. Well, oh, poor Eeyore. Everybody loves Eeyore, though. I love Eeyore. He's he's cool. Pooh is naturally my favorite Winnie the Pooh character, naturally, but... Still, and I still don't have dodge roll or high jump. God damn it. Alright, fine. Come over here. And we just swim towards Eeyore and we get him out. Thank you, Pooh. Thank you, other you. <laughs> You know, floating along out there, it seems like something was missing. And something's still missing. Why, Eeyore's tail is gone! Mm. Is that what's missing? Let's see, yup, lost it again. Wonder where it went this time. It's not much of a tail, though I'm sort of attached to it. But I don't know why anybody looked for it. Probably won't find it anyway. Sora, why don't we look for Eeyore's tail? Yeah. Lost something? And here comes Al with yet another tutorial. Yeah, sorry guys, there's not gonna be any action in this episode. It's all mini games and cutscenes. Sorry guys. Searching from a high place is the quickest way to find it. Al, can you fly up high and help us find Eeyore's tail? Sorry, but my eyes aren't what they used to be. Too much reading, you know. But I can offer good advice. Of course you don't have to if you don't want to. See that swing up there? Take Pooh there. You're a bit too big for the swing, but Pooh should be fit nicely. I'll tell you more when you get there. You're calling me fat? You little fuck. All right, fine. So if we simply target Pooh, he'll follow us. So all we got to do is just simply walk, and he'll just keep following us before you know it. So just keep running over here. No, I'm not going to hit Pooh. Gaze at the Keyblade. Look at it. Look at it. I WANT ALL OF YOU TO LOOK AT IT! <laughs> yeah, Pumpkin Edge is one of my favorite Keyblades. Truth be told, I actually like the look better than Decisive Pumpkin. I like the look better. However, Decisive Pumpkin is the better Keyblade. Naturally. Alright, so now we just can simply walk up here. 
Oh, sorry about that, viewers. I just yawned while singing. Okay, now this one is actually pretty easy. And for this one, you want to get over 40. You want to get over 40 yards for this one. So, just so you note that. Just thought I note that. If you don't get over 40 yards, keep trying. Because you need to get a certain amount of points in these mini games if you want to get a uh, ability for Sora. Here's what to do. First, get ready to push. How? Like this. Like this. <laughs> then press R1 to give Pooh a push. Press R1. How's this? Not bad, not bad. Now here's the next step. Press R1 before he swings back to the bottom. If you time it right, Pooh will swing higher and higher. Try it. I'll help you with the timing. Press R1 when I spread my wings. Push too soon, Pooh won't go any higher. Push too late, he'll go too high. Alright, so you want to time this right, viewers. Here we go. R1? It's very, very easy. Press R1 when Al swings his wings out. Alright. Alright, and... 22?! Okay, I need 40 yards now. Come on now. Okay, I'm supposed to get over 40. Hmm, that looks familiar. Okay, so I'm going to keep trying this mini game until I get 40. How's it looking? Sora, you're kissing his ass. Literally, you're kissing his ass. There we go. It's not much of a tail, but it's mine. Thanks, everyone. I wish we could put the 100 acre wood back the way it was, too. Yeah, we can, dude. I have all the pages. Chill out. Okay. So now, before I go any farther, I'm going to keep trying to get 40 yards on that. Um, attain the power of time. Learn Stopra. See, this is where you get Stopra. It's, it's, so it is actually worth coming here. All right. I'm going to keep trying to get uh, 40 like, I'm going to try to get over 40 yards on that minigame, so I'll let you know when I'm done. Alrighty, guys, and we're back. I was finally able to get over 40 yards, and it's actually not that bad. Um, I'll show you how to do it right now. It's very easy, to be honest. Okay, remember um, when P when Al said if you push it too late, you'll he'll swing too high? Well, watch. Once Al puts his wings down, press it. Once he puts his wings down. Ah, dang it. Okay, let me try it again. That was too soon. There we go. All right, once he puts his wings down, there we go, it should, there we go. <laughs> He'll go too far, and I like that animation. Poor Pooh. Uh. All right, so, yep, that's how you get it. So, for that minigame, you want to be sure that you do that at least once. You want to get over 40, 40 meters. I don't know why they put yards, but it's meters. All right, so, anyway, let us continue. All right, so, okay, we come over here next. A clearing crowded with tree stumps. Take a look. Absolutely. And, okay. Here's another mini game to where you want to have a keyblade with a long reach. Okay. <laughs> like, you will see why in a minute. Because this mini game can be frustrating, but at the same time, it's not too bad. Okay. This here is my bouncing spot. We can bounce around here all day. Nothing needs bouncing. You want to bounce too, Sora? It's lots of fun. Lots of fun. Okay. To bounce with the finest, you'll need some pointers from the finest. Oh, wait. Owl, you can't teach us how to bounce. But, Owl, you don't bounce around like we do. Aww. It's like, well, fuck you too, Rue. I'm afraid you're right. I can't master everything, I suppose. No, you can't, dude. Get over it. All right. Anyway. Mm. Bounce this way, please. So now what we got to do is simply... Oh, good. Yay. They give us high jump. Does that mean I have dodge roll? Yes. Yay. They let us have high jump. You know, if you come here... After Neverland, you can actually cheat on this, and they'll let you glide, but I don't want to do that. Watch Tigger's bouncing pattern, and then follow his lead. Here's a little warm-up. Alright, so this one's pretty straightforward. Just jump straight, 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 straight. That's all there is to it. Alright, so jump. Oh, 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 okay. Whew! Oh man, they won't let you have high jump. Aw, oh, you bastards. 
You little, f you fucking teasing. All right, so you want to be sure you actually land on the tree stumps, because if you don't, then you have to start over. But if we come over here and talk to, but it's all there is to it. You want to be sure that you actually can land on the tree stumps. Now it gets tricky. Okay, drop right there, drop like that, like that. This isn't the hard part of the mini game, viewers. All right. Okay, so let me see if I recall correctly. He jumped over here, and then we can rotate the camera. You'll want to rotate the camera constantly. All right, jump like that, and then jump right here. Okay, and then we jump over here, over there. All right. Luckily, they'll let you swing your keyblade, so just in case you feel like you're not going to make it, you can swing your keyblade to make sure you make it. Woohoo! And there we go. Mm, all right. You're doing fantastical. This will be the last one. Oh, I hated this one. You have to go on the seesaw. You have to go on the seesaw. And then jump off the tree. And then just go a straight forward path. I hated this one because I always missed the fucking tree stump. <sighs> but it's okay. All right, so let's see. We jump over here. Okay. Rue puts you up there. All right. Got to time this just right. All right. And... Oh, yeah. Made it. Jump over here. Jump over here. Almost fell there. And jump up here. Yay. All righty. You've gotten mighty good at bouncing, Sora. Right, Rue? And then if we talk to Rue... Hey, Tigger, I think he's ready for the big one. Well, there's only one way to find out. Alright, so this is the true game you have to worry about, viewers. Whack the nuts back at the pot to shatter it. <laughs> Whack the nuts. Okay, anyway. And for this one, we want to finish this in under 30 seconds. Here we go. This is why you want to keep it with a long reach. And it looks like I'm not going to get it in under 30 seconds. Fuck! Alright, uh... There we go. So, it, this, it's very easy. All you gotta do is just make sure you hit it. I thought you couldn't fall off the tree trunk, but you could, so... Awesome! But I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna do that again. Wow, sir, you're so good at everything. Wow, sir, you're so good at... It. No, I want to do the pot game again. Or do I have to literally leave the area first? Let's go try the seesaw. Or do I have to leave? I guess I do. Alright, well anyway, if you jump in here where the pot was at, and open this chest, we get an AP up. You will indeed want to do that. Alright, and I know you can... You can get this somehow. I know you could. There we go. Slice it up. You get a mithril. You will indeed want to get that. Oh, what the hell? I didn't notice that. Oh, I didn't know about that. I didn't know this. Huh. How about that? All right, and then we if we jump up here and jump up here, we get this treasure chest. I always wondered how you can get that treasure chest. Anyway, we do that. We get a mythical shard. Very, very nice. All right, is there anything else? Hmm. I did not know about that at all. Huh. How about that? Alright. Oh, you, okay. Alright, let me let me reactivate that then. So if we jump on here. Let me reactivate that. And then jump. Okay. Can we get that one? It's up there, right? Okay, if we jump up here, can we get it? Yay! Found a rare nut. You will indeed want to get a bunch of these rare nuts here. Because, um, they get you really good items. And I'll show you what they are in a minute. Okay, jump up here next. Uh, damn it. Alright, jump over there. There we go. Open this chest right here. Dark matter. You'll want to get that because dark matter is hard to come by nowadays. Alright. Mm 
All right, where's that water gash coming from? Okay, jump up here. Oh, what the hell? Come on, those right there. All right, do this again. I know you can get that rare nut. Oh, come on. Why aren't you getting that nut, Sora? It's right fucking there. All right, let's do this again. It's right there. Ah, oh, fuck this. I'm not getting it right now. All right, okay. Let's see. Who will be your seesaw partner? We'll start with Tigger, naturally. Okay, he'll bounce you all the way over here. And... If you do that and jump over here, jump over here. Ah, shoot! Damn it! Fuck! Ah, fine. All right. Uh, let me do that again. All right. So we come over here. Tigger. Okay. All right. Make sure I don't fall. I forgot I usually come here after Neverland because I have glide, but it's okay. I don't need glide. All right. Come over here. Jump up here. All right. Shield 2G, that's just another gummy. So, but it's a good gummy nonetheless. Alright. So now if we come over here to the seesaw. And have choose Rue as our partner. He'll jump us straight up here. And I know we can get these nuts. I know we can. I know we can get these nuts. Because we need them. Okay, let's see. Ugh. You probably have to be like in an exact location or something. Dude, what, what, do you have to do, cast gravity on them or something? No? I know you can hit these nuts. Or do you have to talk to Owl every time first? Let me see. If we come here and talk to Owl, ah, splendid, here's something in return. Power up. Would you be so kind as to collect a few more nuts for me? Maybe that's what you have to do. You probably have to talk to Owl every single time. Nothing. I don't want to get on the seesaw right now. Maybe you have to talk to Owl every single time before you can get the nuts. Alright. Because I don't see why Sora couldn't get them before. Oh, okay. So that's what it is. You have to talk to Owl every single time. Well, that's kind of stupid. But whatever. Ah, oh, Spider, here's something. Return. Defense up. See, you're going to get a bunch of status boosting items from Owl if you keep getting these nuts for him. Uh, Rue. Okay. Jump up here. Rare nut. Come back here and talk to Owl. Spend so here something in return, mental shard. You will indeed want to get that, because mental shards are hard to come by. Believe it or not. <laughs> Alright, come up here. Rare nut. Okay. Jump up here. Ah, split it. Here's something in return. AP up. <laughs> You're gonna wanna get these items, people. They're really, really good. A hundred acre wood may not have heartless, but they do give you really, really good items. Use some really, really good toys. Alright. Alright. Jump up here. Okay, I can make this. I can make this. Usually I just glide it over there, but okay. Woohoo! Jump over here. Rare nut, and I believe that's the last one. I believe that is the last rare nut. I'm gonna look around real quick. I'm pretty sure there isn't. I'm pretty positive that's the last rare nut. Yep, that looks like that's the last rare nut. Okay, so now if we come over here and talk to Owl. Ah, Splendid, you're something current. Ori Calcum, look at all these nuts. We couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> what are they for? It's a secret. Ew. Alright. Alrighty. Now we power up Sora here. Defense up, power up, AP. AP. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let us continue. Turn to the map here. Yeah, so you want to get all those nuts. They're really worth getting, trust me. The torn page turned into an item. Mithril. Alrighty. And I'm going to go back and try to get the, um, beat the Tigger Pot thing in under 30 seconds. So, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I was able to do it. So, for that minigame, you want to make sure that you do it in under 30 seconds, okay? Alright, now let us go to the final spot. And the most annoying minigame ever. At least in this one. I mean, I don't like this minigame. It's just too damn tedious. It's annoying. Ugh, I hate it. I hate it, but it's alright. And if we come here, we see Pooh walking around in a circle for some reason. 
Oh well, at least this isn't as bad as Chain of Memories. What are you doing, Pooh? Shh, quiet or they'll get away. Who? The people who took everyone away. See their footprints? We're all sticking together to make sure no one got lost again. But then I saw some footprints that needed following, so I did. Suddenly everyone was gone. Bad people must have taken them away. Actually, Pooh, I think these footprints are, um... <laughs> anyway, I'll help you look for your friends. <laughs> oh, Pooh, you idiot. Alright, come over here. Make sure you have to lock on to Pooh at all times. This is why I hate this minigame, because you have to stay locked on to Pooh at all times. And you come over here and examine. Eeyore? Hello. What are you doing? Looking for sticks to build my house again. Sticks for your house? This place already feels like a house. Yeah, it kind of does, actually. Seems like a great spot to gather everyone once we find them. Help who find his lost friends. Target him with R1 to guide him. This is what I hate. Okay, so target Pooh. You come over here. Pooh, get over here. Get your bitch ass over here, Pooh. 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 <sighs> See, this is why I hate this minigame, because Pooh doesn't react sometimes. Okay. If we come over here and attack the tree, now all we have to do is simply wait. And wait, come on. Alright, now we come here and talk to Rue. I tried bouncing as high as Tigger. I was so busy trying to bounce, I forgot to watch where I was bouncing. Alright. So that's one down. You, gotta, you have to do this mini game in under five minutes. So, there's no room for error. Come on. Pooh, get over here. Alright. Get your fat diabetes ass over here. Now. <laughs> I'm so mean, I'm sorry. Alright, so now if we lead Pooh over here. Okay, he'll go up there. Oh wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? Shoot, what am I doing? I already forgot somebody. See how silly of me. Okay, alright. The rabbit. Then rabbit will come out here. We talk to him. Owl looks so intent on something. Well, I just had to follow him. But then Owl flew off. Okay, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna read these cutscenes, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not going to read these because it, it wastes time, so I have no time to waste right now. Okay, if I jump in this hole right here, he should go to the left. Okay. Uh, no, alright. Okay, we can... I believe we can cast gravity on that. Alright, that brings it down. And... Okay. No. Wait there, Pooh. Okay. Okay. Alright, and if we target what's inside that there, there's actually a web in there cast fire in there and then that web will go away and I want to be sure to talk to Tigger Tigger all right this, this is what I hate it's hard talking to Tigger dang it I saw Pooh walked away so I bounced after him and then I bounced a little too high and lost sight okay cool I was able to talk to him <sighs> it's hard talking to Tigger because he's so busy bouncing around all the time all right anyway jump up here come on get in there get in the thinking all right and he should go to the right Oh, uh, or not. Okay. You can just make me go on the tree branch again. Fuck. Wait. Okay. Now we just bring Pooh over here. Come on, Pooh. Alright, get all the flowers. I mean, this mini game is easy if you know what you're doing, but it's just so damn tedious. I don't like this mini game. I mean, I like the mini games better at Chain of Memories. Except for the one where you fight the bees. Fuck that mini game. But if we go back the way we came, we should find home. Alright, and then Piglet will come out of that little hole right there where you got Rabbit. But before we do that, we're just going to simply wait here. And Owl will fly back here. Talk to him before he flies away. I thought it would be better by the buzzer, buzzer, buzzer. I don't really care at this point because I don't want to waste any time. Okay, we come over here. And talk to Piglet. I got scared when everyone disappeared, so I hid. And there we go. That is everybody. Well, except for Gopher. Where's Gopher? Why didn't they put Gopher in this one? Eh, oh well. 2.58. Uh, under three minutes. So, this minigame is very possible to do in under 
five in under five minutes. The torn page turned into a new item. Experience ring. Get that shit. And here's a cutscene, so let me shut up. I'm so glad we're all together again. <laughs> I didn't know what to do when I was all alone. Oh, look at that. You gotta be brave. You weren't lonely at all? Lonely? Are you kidders? I'm a Tigger! The most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. But I do admit, friends are awfully fun too. <laughs> think, think, think. Hey, Pooh. What are you thinking about now? Oh, well, I'm just thinking about um, what to think about. <laughs> well, I'm off. Sora, where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my friends. They're waiting for me. Oh, sound back again. <laughs> I hope you find your friends. Fist pump. Sora, don't forget, we shall always be here. If you'd like to visit again, that is. The end. Even the book had a keyhole. How about that? Alright, so if we were... I believe we should get it now, if I recall correctly. I should get it now. Oh, and you see me earn a trophy that I already earned, but since I can't connect to my PSN right now because of my internet, <sighs> I'm going to earn all these trophies that I earned already. And, oh, you don't get it yet? Or do you have to defeat all the bosses first? Hmm. <laughs> oh, well. All right, anyway, um, the reason why I was telling you to get um, all those certain points in uh, the mini games was because you get an ability. Uh, do you remember the ability that Goofy got? Cheer? You can get that for Sora. So, I just thought I'd show you guys that, and, okay, Donald doesn't need Berserk, but he does need Leaf Bracer, so I'm giving that to him. Okay, um, I'll equip all this shit later. Alright, so now, um, if we come right over here to the Fairy Godmother, actually, no, real quick, uh, slightly raise the strength, I'm gonna replace that with Experience Ring. Increases experience obtained by 20%, <laughs> and raises max MP. So, yeah, you're gonna wanna equip that, aren't you? Come over here to the Fairy Godmother. Mm -hmm. Alright, talk to her. Oh, another summon gem? Let's help this little one. Here we go. Boopity boopity boo! Learn summon spell, Bambi. And yeah, Bambi's a pretty good spell. And I'll show you what she does right now. Or is it a he? I don't know. I'll show you what Bambi does right now. Alright, and this episode's already over an hour long? Huh, well, that's just because of 100 Acre Wood, so. And plus, I still got a lot of editing to do and all this other jazz. Oh, well, at least I have Mermaid Kick now. You can swim faster and farther now, outside of Atlantica, if you have Mermaid Cake equipped. Alright, so I'm going to get the Summon Gauge ready. And you're about to see one of, the mo one of the most useful summons in this game. Bambi. Alright, what Bambi does here is simple. Um, Bambi will just simply uh, drop MP orbs for you all over the place like that 
But if you uh, defeat Heartless while he's doing that, they'll drop items automatically and HP orbs and money and stuff like that. Like, you see where it says charge? Damn, screw this, thunder, you all. And you'll be lucky enough to get, like, you know, synthesis materials and stuff like that. And they'll automatically drop items. Bambi will automatically give you items for every Heartless you defeat. So Bambi is a pretty good spell when it comes to item collecting. See, look at that. Gives you a high potion and a blaze shard. Like, depending on what enemies you defeat, they'll, he'll automatically give you their synthesis material. So it's very, very good to have Bambi in your party. Alrighty, viewers. I think that's going to have to do it for this episode because I still got a lot of editing to do. So we'll see you guys later. Be safe.